greetings and welcome. You are about to embark on an incredible journey. I have been sent to select three new superheroes. They are ordinary children like many of you, who don't know more of their destiny than Superman knows Batman. They are going to do incredible things, amazing things, stupendous things. They have no idea the incredible things they're going to do. These are not the first children I've selected, and I don't think they'll be the last, but I have a feeling they're going to be like all the rest. They're going to take one look at me and say, who am I to be a hero? How can I ever do incredible things? It's fitting I was told to meet them this time of year, Christmas time. Christmas is a time where we remember that great things can be done through lowly people. Christmas is also the time where we remember the greatest hero who ever lived with an incredible origin story. Jesus Christ is the greatest hero who ever lived because he is the one who came to meet our greatest need. To G Jesus' neighbors, he was just a carpenter. To Mary and Joseph, he was the son of God. To us, he is the savior of the world. I know that Kim, Sarah, and Luke can do incredible things because I know what God did for me through that baby in a manger. Mom, going to be late. Still studying at the library. Amy, did you write down the page numbers we were supposed to read tonight for history? Jenny, what time does the class Christmas party start? This texting is hard on the finger. If only we had a device that would allow us to talk to the people we communicate with instead of texting. You know, talk to them, voice to voice. I wonder if I could invent something like that. You mean like a uh, telephone? A what? A tell something. Uh, I know! Teleport! No, that's where you go somewhere else instantaneously. Um, I think it's called a telephone. Whatever it is, I need one. Guys, what's that music playing? Do not be afraid. Ah, who are you? <laughs> Why are you here? I am, I bring you good news that will change the course of history. You do? I do. Good news, that will change history. Okay, then tell us. You have been chosen. You mean us three? Yes, all three of you have been chosen. Woohoo! We're in the play. What parts do we get? The Baroness? Count Will's one pro? Did I get Maria? Maria? Maria who? You know, from Spring Musical, The Sound of Music? I don't know of this Maria, or musical, or Spring Theater of which you speak. So you're not from the theater? No. And what's with the crazy costume? This is no costume. This is my everyday wardrobe. Where do you shop? The silly shop? Where I shop is a private matter. So, who are you? I am a messenger. Oh, you mean like Facebook Messenger? I am much more than a mobile application. Then who and or what are you? I am he who is known as the Looker Outer. The Looker Outer? That's an odd name. Maybe. But I repeat, you have been chosen. You keep saying that, but you haven't said what we were chosen for. You have been chosen to be <coughs> Earth's newest superheroes. Say what? I have come to grant you immense powers beyond your imagination. I don't know. I can imagine quite a lot. You will have endurance, invincibility, and incredible, incredible strength. Really? Will I also be able to shoot lasers out of my eyes? Am I being visible? No. But you will be able to fly. Fly? I can't fly. I'm for the heights. You will fly, I tell you. You will soar above the clouds, fighting for truth and justice. Aw, you're crazy. 
I'm no hero. But you will be. Look at us, we're just kids. I can barely handle long division, much less than saving the world. If Earth is a hero, we should find somebody else. It is so hard to believe that you could be a hero too. Name one young girl who had a heavenly visitor show up and ask her to do something crazy like this. Name one! Hmm, how about Mary? Mary? Yes, it's almost Christmas time. Surely you have a nativity set with a Mary and Joseph as a certain tiny baby at your home? I do, of course I do. Well, then you must know the story of Mary, the girl chosen to raise God's only son. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, you won't believe what just happened to me. Well, steady down there, son. Are you okay? I think so. The moment you walked in, the baby just did a flip. I think he's excited. Elizabeth, an angel just appeared to me. He said I was going to have a son, miraculously born by the Holy Spirit. God wants me to give birth to the Messiah. Well, no wonder my little bundle is jumping for joy. This is a miracle. Praise be to God. I can't believe God would choose me of all people. It's what we've all been hoping for. But wait, Mary, you aren't married yet. I know. This, um, this could be a scandal for you. What will the neighbor say? What will Joseph say? Oh, Mary, you could be in a lot of trouble. Elizabeth, this is God's plan. I don't know why he has chosen me or how things will work out with Joseph, but I trust God. <coughs> Mary was just a young girl when she was told she would be the mother of the Messiah. She was barely old enough to be married when she, an angel appeared to her and said she would be the mother of God's only son. I guess I never thought that way. How in the world did she do that? Trust. Mary trusted God. Mary trusted that even God, even when she knew, nobody else would believe her story. And because Mary trusted God, God was able to use her to begin his plan for saving the world from sin. She must have had a lot of faith, but really, who am I to think I can, be a, I can become a hero? Kim, if you have faith, you can do incredible things too. I do have faith. I do have faith in God. Good.
Looking great, my super friends. I feel kind of silly. Do you already think what it takes to be a superhero? Well, I I'm just the looker outer. It's, it's really not for me to say. Thanks. That's helpful. So, so what superpowers are we going to get? Good question. Hmm, let me see. I have my list. Ah, here we go. Milk, eggs, box of honeycomb, instant pudding, eggnog, holiday gumdrop Hold mixed on. with reds and... Those are superpowers. Oh, silly me. That's my grocery list. Here we go. Oh, I got it. Superpowers list. Ready? Super speed. Nice. Super strength. Cool. Super long range hearing. Huh? Power of flight. Still not sure about that one. And invincibility. Invincibility, yes. Ha, your boss didn't need to give me that one. I'm pretty invisible as it is. No, you're not. I can just see you standing right next to me. You're not that kind of invisible. I'm the kind of person nobody notices. What do you mean? I'm a kid who isn't special. I don't play sports, I don't get straight A's, I don't get in trouble with the teacher either. That's good. I'm not, I'm on nobody's birthday invitation list either. I'm surprised anyone even took notice of me. Listen, nobody's invisible like that, especially not to God. How do you know that? Well, let's go back to the nativity story we were talking about. Have you ever seen the dirty guys hanging out just outside the stable? You mean the guys with the sta with staffs and with the hooks on the end? The shepherds? Oh, is that why they have sheep around them? Sheep around them? That's it exactly. I've always wondered why those guys were in the nativity scene. <coughs> Who said that? I said that. Our friend or foe. But sometimes I feel down like invisible. Really, why? Here we are, night after night, just us the sheep. And the auction on creepy, sneaky wood. But nothing ever happens. This route town, this and there's nothing and nobody. Ah, I knew there's a wolf. Just one and far away. You ever wish something would happen, something big and exciting? Something that It's a wolf. Now it's a monster. Three things. Three things. Boys, don't be afraid. I bring you good need of great joy. News for the whole world. Today in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find him wrapped in swaggling clothes and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highs on peace on earth. What just happened? I think just a part and we're invited. But we're just shepherds. We're nobodies. And this nobody had that to Bethlehem to see the newborn Savior. <coughs> God sent an angel to the shepherds to come see what he had done. But why invite shepherds? If God was doing something great, why didn't he invite the media? Well, <clears throat> back then they didn't have BBC or RTE. Besides, to God, it was more important to invite those shepherds. Why? Because to God, nobody's invisible. Not poor shepherds, not a carpenter and his wife, not even a straight B student who can't shoot a football goal to save her life. Even me? Even you.
look at you, little heroes. That's some great work you did. And you're quite the team. Saving the tram cars from being derailed? And saving the crowd of pedestrians from being crushed by the tram cars? How does it feel, saving so many lives? It feels great. The last one was such a close call. Don't you ever help? Oh, I'm just the looker-outer. I never get involved. Well, that's a shame, Mr. Logo, because sometimes we need help. Nonsense! You're doing a great job. And you haven't let anybody down yet. I know, but save your whole world? Come on! There's always a burning building, or a guy robbing a bank, or a cat stuck in a tree. How can I save the whole world if I can't even get a B-plus in history? Calm down, Luke. It's okay. No, it's not okay. The world needs saving, and I, I'm the only one who can save it. Well, not exactly. What? Well, there's only one person who can save the world, and actually, he's already done it. That's right, and this time we're going to the heart of the nativity scene, to the baby in the manger. The baby? Why the baby? The, who do you think saved the world? Whose birth was announced to Mary and the shepherds? Who attracted the attention of kings from far and wide? Is it really possible? Did we really just see the Messiah? We saw a star in the sky, we followed it to Israel, and the prophecy of Micah pointed us right to him. But it doesn't make sense. If he is really the Messiah, the man who is going to save Israel, you would think that he will be born in the palace of the king. And I don't think he's going to give up his son anytime soon. No, definitely not. I didn't like the look in his eyes. If that angel hadn't already warned us about telling him, King Herod where the baby was, I would have said let's go back another way. I'm with you. Maybe the Messiah wasn't just sent to save Israel. Maybe he's not a conquering king sent to drive away Israel's enemies. What do you mean? Maybe he's here to save the whole world from a greater foe. But who could that be? Not who, what. What's the greatest problem we read about in the Hebrew texts? It's the problem of sin. Sin caused man to be separated from God. Sin led to the great flood. Sin required the Hebrews to make sacrifices and atone for their sins. Yes, I see what you're saying, but how is the baby going to solve the problem of sin? I don't know, but I expect there's a great deal more to what we just saw. That's no ordinary baby back there. That's a child with incredible power. That baby was the Son of God. He held the power of the Almighty in his hands, but he laid it all aside so he could li live as a common man. He was the only man who never sinned, and so he was the only man who could take our sin upon himself, all so he could save us. Wow, that's incredible. I heard of you dying to save the city, or even a friend but saving the whole world? Every man, woman, and child. Not everyone was happy when Jesus came. Remember King Herod? True. King Herod saw him as a threat. Some today still see him as a threat. But wise men, then and now, know that salvation can only be found through the babe in the manger.
Bethlehem. How I've missed you. It never gets old coming to Bethlehem to see where it all began. One of the side benefits of being the looker out is I can time travel anywhere in history. I've been to Bethlehem many times and it never gets old. It always fills me with such wonder to see how God transformed the course of history. <clears throat> We thought we might find you here. Well, hello there. How did you get here? One of the benefits of super speed. We can time travel anywhere in history. And you chose to come here? Yeah, I wanted to see this thing for myself, not in an activity scene. Say, <laughs> it's freezing out here. It is chilly. It would be warmer in the inn, but... There's no room, is there? Not a room in town tonight, I'm afraid. Ah, here. Where did you get these? Saw the guest inside heard the baby cry. They offered some spare blankets. How nice of them. How's he doing? He's perfect. It just doesn't seem real for a baby being born without a human father and me being like his father. I saw you gave birth to him, but he's the one who made us. I, um, and, and I, I saw, and I saw you gave birth to but he's the one who made us, and, and I know, and I hope I know what he's in for. If only they knew what he was in for, why he was born. Maybe it's good they didn't know what he was in for. Can you imagine knowing that your child would one day be put to death like a common criminal? I know that baby has superpower. I know he's the son of God. But what kind of superpower do you need, do you need to let your enemies to break you down and put you to death? That's not superpower. That's grace. It's grace that, caught, that, that kept God from starting all over from the world when sin entered the world. It's grace that caused God to promise the Messiah. Grace is what led Jesus to be born in the manger so he could live and die for us, all so he could save us. I'm starting to realize I need that grace. It's hard being a hero every day, you know? I saved the man's building from burning down. I want to know what he did. He yelled at me. Grace can give you the power to love others, even when they are kind to you. Grace can, it will enable you to do incredible things. But first, you must receive that grace for yourself. Yeah.
of all, I would like to thank uh, Brother Andrew. And uh, Andrew, thank you. Um, you've done a great job. <laughs> that was just phenomenal. To think that those children could learn all of those lines, the, the children could give such expression. Uh, that was just, I was amazed as I was back there. Wow. It all starts back in September. <clears throat> in September, the children will meet over in the side room, and Andrew will have come up with a play, and he, along with Joan and Duina, and who am I forgetting? And Christine will meet over there, and they will help um, the children learn the lines. And they do this actually for months, and they did a phenomenal job, really, really well. So Joan, Duina, and Christine, thank you very much for your help. We appreciate that. <laughs>